This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Profit. Hello and welcome to this very special interaction with a man who they say seems to know it all when it comes to the U.S. financial crisis because he's in charge of sorting out a lot of the mess that has gone on in the last one and a half years. We are talking about Larry Fink, as he is better known as. Larry, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, Larry is the CEO of BlackRock. Uh, you don't need any introduction if you look at international media because of the kind of burden that you carry on your shoulders right now of cleaning up uh, the U.S. Uh, problems. But if I were to ask you, are we there where you can see the extent of the problem, or are we still in the middle of it where we don't know how deep it is running? Well, I think in some asset categories, we understand how deep it is. And in some asset categories, um, I don't think um, the crisis will get deeper. And yet there's other asset categories where the, we're just beginning the crisis. Um, so it's, it's, we're, we have what I call rolling blackouts. And until we stabilize assets, it is very hard for me to tell you where I could see the horizon. Um, the horizon may be three months away. I doubt it. It may be nine months away, maybe, but it may be two years away. And, and there lies the problem in the marketplace. The uncertainty is putting a chill on the marketplace. Uh, investors lost so much money in 2008. It, it really didn't matter what asset category you were in. Unless you were in treasuries and short term, you lost money. And so we have a freezing of the global markets because so much losses occurred. People are worried about their jobs. They're worried about um, further asset deterioration. And so until we see a clear path of stability in assets, which we're, in, as I said, in some categories we're beginning to see it, but if we don't see it across the board, um, I think we're going to be in this crisis mode for some time. But uh, is it then uh, fair enough to expect the new U.S. administration to come up with a rescue plan? What are you actually res rescuing if you don't know what the extent of the problem is or even what the problem is? A recent article in The Economist said uh, now you will have new Class A mortgages uh, coming under the scanner as well. So in some ways, as you continue to solve, more problems continue to tumble out. So in some ways, we don't really know what we're addressing. Well, I think we do know what we're addressing. Um, and I think um, the Geithner plan, the Obama plan, um, I think what the Secretary of Treasury was trying to say, this is a very large problem. It's going to require multi-fixes. It's not one big fix. Um, it's going to require helping the homeowners, helping the auto companies. It's going to mean stabilizing real estate prices. It means stabilizing some financial institutions that are under duress. It means closing some financial institutions that are probably not fixable and merging them with better institutions. So um, I, believe, I believe we could talk about the problems. The problem is not knowing the problem. The problem is arresting the problems. And the only way you're going to be able to arrest the problems is, in our opinion, is to stabilize real estate prices. How would you do that? Because the Geithner plan, a lot of people, and I'm sure you were on an international trip at that point in time, a lot of people are disappointed. They're saying it lacks details. Politicians in the U.S. are already gunning for him, saying, what is this all about? This doesn't really tell us. What is it going to solve? For example, in stabilizing real estate prices, do you think in America that is what the need of the R is and this plan addresses that problem? We have told our, uh, the new administration that the crisis began in real estate, and the crisis can only be solved by stabilizing real estate. And so how do we get out of this? We try to have low interest rates. So um, the Bernanke Fed has brought short rates down to 0 to 25. 